In this video, I'll be trying out a selection of flight simulators and deciding on which is the better one. A lot of this will be my own opinion, but you guys may have other ideas, so do feel free to share them down below in the comments. Also, whilst you're down there, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. But other than that, let's get started with comparing the three flight simulators, Microsoft Flight Simulator X, Turtle Games Flight School and x 11. The first simulator we'll be looking at is Microsoft Flight Simulator X. So, whilst it's probably the oldest simulator in this list now over 10 years, I'll be doing two versions of this one. Default scenery and aircraft, and then modified scenery and aircraft for my like freewares and payware packages. So, in the defaults FSX, everything does look basic. But controls are smooth however, and although ground scenery is a bit dated, it's not a bad simulator, even when comparing to, to today's standards. With modified scenery and aircraft however, the simulator does look really amazing, so for whether I'm using Axis Sky 2016, I'm using the Just Flight um, Trinidad Tobago um, light aircraft in this and Luton um, scenery, but with updated scenery, updated auto gen, all that kind of stuff, it does look absolutely amazing. And with the um, payware aircraft or some freeways as well, with modified flight dynamics, it does also feel like the real thing, and definitely if using default FSX, do look in some of the freeware packages as some of them can do wonders for your simulator. In Dovetail Games Flight School, um, the aircraft does look a lot nicer, like 3D gauge and that kind of stuff default, and the flight dynamics do look, look and feel really well as well. Bearing in mind though that this game only has three aircraft default, Star Health spends a lot of extra time modifying their aircraft to make it more realistic. So we have some high hopes for the um, flight dynamics in Flight Simulator when it comes out next year, but for Dovetail Games Flight School itself, it's not too bad. Could be better, but it's not a bad attempt. In x 11, however, the aircrafts look alright. Sometimes the FSX aircraft and Dovetail aircraft can beat in certain aspects, but when it comes to flight dynamics and how the aircraft feels, x is definitely where it's at its best, as it, it simulates does simulate like, the wind around the wings and the effects and that kind of stuff. And well, although you probably do need a lot of specialised hardware for this one, so in my case I'm using an Xbox 360 controller and the control isn't too perfect for it, but with good hardware and good systems installed, then you can definitely get some really good um, feeling out of the simulator, which is something that people definitely go for in the simulator. But like I said, you need really good hardware if you want to run this aircraft as realistic as possible. When it comes to ground scenery, FSX uses a system called Ground Class, which basically determines what is meant to be on top of the ground, so for example, city, fields, hills, landscape, so forth, and basically puts it on like a checkerboard on the floor. So it may not reflect real world scenery, but it's not too bad. It's alright, and well, if you have good auto gen settings, that kind of stuff, slider sets to high, then it doesn't look too bad. But like I said, outdated simulator, it's not the best system in the world and it could definitely look a lot better. When modifying FSX however, like I said, I've got VFR scenery on the ground and modified autogen, so I've got realistic ground scenery and realistic 
building's positioning. So the buildings may not look the same, but it definitely works and the simulator does look pretty fantastic when using it. Dovetail Games Flight School again uses the ground class, so same as FSX system, but just slightly modified textures and slightly modified um, ground, but that's about it, everything else is pretty much the same. I'm personally not sure how exactly um, X Planes 1 is sorted out, but I can tell you it definitely looks good with the cars, the buildings, the vehicles, that kind of stuff. It does look absolutely fantastic, ground scenery default in X Plane. When it comes to night scenery, FSX is definitely not great at it. It once again uses the ground textures to reflect the night scenery, no 3D lights, nothing special. It's just flat ground texture and night textures for the autogen buildings. Not the best in the world, but again, it will pass. Within my modified FSX, what I have done is I have bought the Night Environment British Isles package. So in this case, you can see I've got the 3D lights around the um, British Isles Night Kingdom and it doesn't look too bad. It's not perfect, but it doesn't look too bad. And for night scenery around the UK, in this case, I've got it 3D modelled, slight um, lighting, it's there, it follows the road system around the UK, and as a whole, it's not too bad. It could be improved, um, different like, lighting effects and so forth, but as a whole, from the first attempt at it, it's not too bad. Within Dovetail Games Flight School, however, it uses a similar system to br Night Environment, but this one's made um, specifically by Rex, so it's the 3D lighting add-on, it really looks really good, and although it may flicker a bit with a um, small resolution monitor, it doesn't look too bad, up close it looks good, traffic lights and so forth included, not as many road cars and lights as x -Plane, but as a whole it's definitely an improvement when it comes compared to the original FSX lighting, which is just a ground texture. X-Plane, however, is absolutely stunning when it comes to night environments. The roads look amazing, cars look amazing, there's really nothing you could fault about this one. It's a great volumetric feel to the lights, great cars, just everything is absolutely amazing at night in the simulator. When it comes to comparing flight simulators, flying through clouds is also something we should take a look at. So in the case of FSX, clouds are said to be 3D, but in reality there are 2D textures that follow you around, and flying through them, you don't actually go through the clouds, they go next to you, they disappear when they're in front of you, and it's not a very immersive effect. It's not too bad, but again, hardware limitation at the time meant that you couldn't really go through the clouds, you could just go around them. Within my modified FSX, I'm using Active Sky 2016, so what it has done is, although it's using the same effects that you're going around the cloud, what it has done is added motion effects to the cloud by putting smoke in front of the aircraft, and when you do enter the clouds, it uses the fog effects, so it um, fogs up the area around you, so visibility is down to a minimum, the smoke effects also carry on playing, and as a whole, it's definitely improved the FSX night um, cloud flying, which is uh, much better than the default one. Within Dovetail Games Flight School, very similar to the FSX system, other than the fact that it has slightly attempted to change the um, sky around you so it looks like you're actually flying inside a cloud. Textures still go around you, but it's changed the colours like the fogging, the lighting. It's not much detail, it could definitely be worked on, but it's the first attempt at trying to make clouds more volumetric and feel 3D within the simulator. With an X-Plane as well, it's not the greatest um, system in the world, it's slightly disappointing, but like X-Plane and similar to Active Sky as well, 
it changes the fog around you, it makes it like look visible, but as a whole it definitely can be worked on. So with Active Sky 2016, it uses like smart fog effects and kind of stuff so, like through the cloud. This one's a bit more basic and could definitely be worked on, but not bad compared to FSX. Interior modelling of the default aircraft, it's not bad, it's not going to win any awards today, despite it did 10 years ago, but it's not bad, could be improved, but as a whole, again, limitations at the time, and it's the default aircraft, not really expecting anything too groundbreaking within it. Some modded aircraft, so in this case the Carinado DO228, can look absolutely amazing interior and exterior, the modelling can be pretty fantastic. And if you're looking for a good payware, it's definitely Carinado is what you want for modelling. But as a whole, there's some pretty amazing stuff out when you mod do modify your FSX. With only three aircraft to really model, um, Dovetail Flight School definitely has high quality models and definitely something to look into as well. Likewise with X-Plane, they're alright models, some things can be improved, some things can be lost, but as a whole, it's highly modelled aircraft and it's made a realism feel to it, which is what wins X-Plane its award. When it comes to sounds, however, um, default FSX, with some aircraft, does sound pretty good, with other aircraft not as amazing, but as a whole, sounds with an FSX are half decent and not too bad, but can be modified if you want to. With sound cones in FSX, you can get some proper good 3D effects out of some add-ons and default aircraft. So in this case, the bomb diet here, I've got pretty good sound effects, all 360 around the aircraft, and as a whole, it does sound really realistic, which can be um, improved by the modified aircraft and free downloads as well. Dovetail definitely use sound codes within Dovetail Games Flight School as well. It does sound good, some aircraft better than others, but again, with free default aircraft, you can't really go too wrong with it. And unfortunately, X-Plane really lacks when it comes to sound. I can tell you this does not sound like a 737, and the only good sounding aircraft in the simulator is definitely going to be the default Cessna. As a whole, all three simulators do have their ups and downs. So, it's my verdicts on what I believe each simulator has, and what you guys probably see in it as well. But then again, these are all my opinions, so you never know what you guys say. But I see FSX like more customizable software, so if you want like default FSX, then fair enough, you're going to need good hardware for that, but you can modify it, run it on multiple cores and that kind of stuff. So if you put time and effort into it, spend a bit of money, then get a really good simulator out of it as you compare between default FSX and my modified FSX. Likewise, if you want realism straight out of the box, and definitely looking to explain, it's maybe slightly more expensive than FSX, but the scenery and that kind of stuff, absolutely amazing, you don't really need too much modification for it. And if you really want just like for light aircraft and a bit quick flying, then Dovetail Games Flight School, cheaper option, but it's really just what you've got is what you've got. Otherwise, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Do like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.